and find attractive about you. So, we have three piles today. Pile one, two, and three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile you feel most drawn to. And if you're looking for a more in-depth personal reading for your situation, you can find my Skype link in the description box below. So send me a message and we can set up a time to do a reading. I also have my PayPal link in the description box below if you want to donate to this channel. I'd really appreciate it. I'm going through a lot right now and could honestly use the help. So we are going to get started with pile one. For pile one, we have this key here. I think your person finds it very attractive that you are very in touch with your intuition, very in touch with the signs and synchronicities of the universe. Somebody who is very happy and positive and joyous. Somebody who's very grateful for everything that they have and really listens to any of the signs or synchronicities or messages that they may feel that they're getting from the universe. You really have a very deep understanding and knowledge of signs and synchronicities as well. You're somebody very lucky, very abundant. Somebody who may even like to knock on wood. <laughs> I really believe in knocking on wood myself. You're somebody who is very natural and really is very grounded, very stable, very humble, very down to earth. Somebody who really enjoys being in nature and taking that time to connect to yourself and your higher power. This has 1930 on it as well as the 1930 Buffalo Head Nickel. You're somebody who is very traditional, very strong, very stable, very solid. Somebody who is very honest and straightforward and somebody who is very in touch with the earth. You may be a shaman as well. You're somebody very, you know where you want to go in life as well. We have, I want to show you support, throat chakra. Now, you might be somebody who works with healing energies as well. Don't be ashamed of how you feel. You deserve better. Give your fears and worries to a higher power. No regrets. You did your best. So this person really loves that you don't ever want anybody to feel ashamed of who they are or what they're doing in their life because you really see that they are doing the best they can and they deserve to be supported. I think this person really wants to support you, but they haven't been showing a whole lot of that support. So they may feel like you deserve better and they may see that you feel like you deserve better as well and they don't want you to be ashamed of that. No regrets, you did your best. Give your fears and worries to a higher power. So you're somebody who doesn't believe in regrets and you're somebody who believes in doing your best and if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. That's the way it was meant to be. And you really give over your fears and your worries, your anxieties, anything that's bothering you to a higher power and you really show your support to others as well, I think. And you really feel that you deserve the best. You do not lower your worth or value for other people and you really stand in your power and they find this very attractive about you passionate fiery creative innovative efficient organized organized loves to plan clean routine oriented so you may be wanting to create something you may be wanting to build a business of some kind you may be wanting to start something new and this person doesn't want you to be ashamed of how you feel because they know that you deserve better than just an ordinary, boring life. Efficient, organized, loves, loves to plan, clean, and routine-oriented. Intuitive, knowledgeable, perceptive, clairsentient, empath. So once again, you may be somebody who has a lot of gifts. You may be a shaman. You may be a healer. You may be somebody who really works with energies a lot and really works with spirit and signs and synchronicities. 
somebody who really listens to their intuition is very knowledgeable very perceptive you understand things at a very deep level and you're somebody who is very capable of taking those understandings and making something from them if you want to spend time with someone do it now don't overthink overcome your fears and doubts don't let anxiety take your win so tomorrow never comes by norma mccarrick i think is a poem that I absolutely loved since I was like 13 years old. I actually cut it out of a newspaper and copied it on my computer and made extra copies even. It talks about, if I knew it'd be the last time, would I see your face? I'd hug and kiss you one more time. Things like that, you know. I'd lift you up in praise and play it back throughout my days. Um... You're somebody who doesn't overthink things. You're somebody who does something when you feel something. You're somebody that takes time to spend time with those you love and those you appreciate. You really overcome your fears and your anxieties, and you don't allow anxiety to take your finish away when you're working on something. You look to your heart for the answers, and you always find your answers within. You don't look externally for those things. You look inside yourself because that's where the truth really is. Watch what happens. Know your power and your worth. Don't let doubt guide the way. So yeah, once again, you're somebody who really knows your power. You really know your worth. You don't let doubts, anxieties, or fears get in your way. You're very grounded. You're very stable. You're very reliable. You're somebody who's very chill and very go with the flow. Somebody who really enjoys observing things and seeing what happens. And somebody who really looks inside themselves to understand those things as well. Walk away from things, people, and beliefs that no longer serve you. So you're somebody who walks away from things that you feel are not, things that are not good for you, people that are not treating you right, things that are not making you feel good inside. You're somebody who knows when you enjoy something and when you don't, and you take actions to leave behind things that you are not, that are not fulfilling you in life. And this person absolutely loves this. Don't be ashamed of that. You deserve better than the things that you have walked away from. Don't feel guilty for walking away from things, people, or places, or whatever is not good for you. This person absolutely loves that you know your worth and you don't accept anything less. You don't settle. Listen to the signs all around you. You're somebody who listens to the signs all around you. We've already said that. Somebody who's an independent leader. Somebody who has a lot of power somebody who has a lot of self-worth, somebody who stands in their own power, somebody who's an individual. You never fall prey to peer pressure. You are somebody who stands in your own beliefs and you don't allow people to drag you down into their being. You're somebody who rises above the bullshit and the drama and you're somebody who really shines very brightly. Somebody who's very free from the constraints of others' opinions. Somebody who's very temperate somebody who's very balanced, somebody whose emotions and passions are very in alignment, somebody who has worked very, very hard to get to this stability and strength that you have within you today, somebody who always looks on the bright side of every situation, and somebody who's able to delve into their emotions and all of those things and still remain grounded and reliable and stable, somebody who's very abundant and fertile as well, and somebody who's very beautiful, who shines very brightly, Somebody who just has a lot of light within you and somebody who communicates very effectively. You really communicate with a very effective manner and a very passionate manner. You communicate possibly very quickly and very effectively and somebody who really takes action to go after the things that you want. You may enjoy traveling as well. You may enjoy flying. You may enjoy taking trips and you really do represent a solid, stable, strong, committed offer. You are an opportunity. You are something to be cherished and valued. And you are something, somebody who offers commitment, loyalty, stability to one person at a time is what I'm feeling. You're somebody who does not give your gifts away to everyone. You only give your gifts away to those who deserve them. So that's what I have for this pile. It's 944 right now. So yeah, you really have been through a lot. And you defend what's important to you and you really bring a lot of stability and strength to your foundations and your connections.
that's what I have for this pile. I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear if this fit you in the comments below or if you have something to say about this reading. And I hope that you have <clears throat> a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Ah, if I can get this stuff out of the way. Pile 2, 1033, Pile 2. So, for you, I believe that you're somebody who's very fiery, very passionate, very filled with life, somebody who has a lot of secrets and mysteries to you, somebody who really, oops, somebody who really could be very demonstrative of your passions and your desires, somebody who's very creative, and very passionate and somebody who stands up for the little the little guy somebody who, pr who protects those you care about somebody who defends what's right somebody who is very pure of heart very transparent very honest and open and filled with integrity somebody who's very lucky somebody who's very bright somebody who's very very loving and this person absolutely loves these energies about you we have pride goeth before a fall Soon you'll be walking out the door. Fight for what you believe in. Soon you'll be walking out the door. That's what that one reminds me of. Just put one foot in front of the other. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost Christmas time, so I guess, you know, that's what I was thinking of. Get some rest and remember self-love. So your person really loves that you fight for what you believe in with your whole heart. You are somebody who knows that pride goes before a fall. So you are not ashamed or scared to admit when you're wrong and apologize for that. You are somebody who really remembers self-love and self-care and takes time for yourself to rest. And you're somebody who really knows that all you got to do when you're down and out is take a step at a time. And each step that you take gets you in further, further and further along the way. And soon you will be doing everything that you set out to do just by taking that one step and that one day at a time. Slow and steady wins the race. And your person loves this about you. Growing and thriving from chaos and conflict. So in chaos and conflict, you learn, you grow, you understand, you gain new perspectives and ideas, and you really put those to use in your life. And you really thrive. You don't wilt away when there's something hard to face. You thrive and you survive. You do not shy away from conflicts. You do not die in the corner alone, wilting like a flower. You rise up to any challenge that comes your way. Allow yourself some guilt-free time to think. And you know there's nothing wrong with shying away from things either. There's nothing wrong with not learning. Some people don't. But you choose to. Allow yourself some guilt-free time to think. So I think your person would really like you to make sure that you're giving yourself time to think without feeling guilty or ashamed or of the actions that you take. Or maybe you allow others the time to think without feeling guilty and to really make decisions from a state of peace extrovert open-minded versatile talkative you guys actually got four of these ones very aligned sharp mind knowing sees things others miss loves reading introspective thoughtful and knows self and we got clever perceptive resourceful alert quick-witted and alert because I wrote alert on that twice apparently you're a very alert person you may be a little hyper vigilant at times but I don't think that it affects your calmness most of the time sometimes it really might and you may overthink things sometimes or you may notice a whole bunch of details that really just didn't mean a whole lot because you were overly looking at the situation but you're very extroverted very open-minded you can talk to anybody you can communicate anywhere anytime you can fit in anywhere you can really move about and talk to anyone and you're very aligned very sharp in your mind very knowing you're on your path 
and you know what your path is and you know who you are, you really see a lot of things that others miss, which at times can cause overthinking, but a lot of times it really helps you to open and expand your mind and it really helps you to see where others are coming from. And your person really loves that you're able to do that because you're able to be patient and understanding in any situation. You really are very smart and you enjoy reading. You enjoy being by yourself and taking that time alone. So even though you're extroverted, you enjoy taking time and space for you and you really are very thoughtful and you really know yourself you delve into yourself to understand yourself and you really understand others much better because you do this as well do what's best for you no matter what anyone else thinks pride be damned and once again your person loves that you don't care what anybody thinks and you encourage everyone around you to be themselves no matter what anybody else thinks pride be damned you will put yourself out there you will express your passion your desire your love your motives your ambition your drive whatever it is you will express it and you are very open-hearted very transparent very pure of heart and you really are just amazing romantic passionate fiery opening up can be hard at first but each time makes it easier and so even though it is hard at first to open yourself up to the idea of throwing pride at the window and just going after what you want. Each time gets easier. It gets easier and easier and easier every time that you decide to put your chips all in. And you decide to do it because you know that it will get easier each time. Move forward slowly. Only do what feels comfortable to you. And you're somebody who enjoys going slow, building something solid and stable from the ground up, really getting to know each other and it's because that's what's comfortable to you and no regardless of what anybody else wants you want to do what is comfortable for you but at the same time you are willing to put your emotions feelings and vulnerabilities out there even if you do prefer to move slowly it's okay not to know where you are going magic is easy all you have to do is want something and let yourself have it so you really believe in manifestation and you really believe that you can Allow yourself to have beautiful things and have beautiful things because then you take the steps and put into action what you need to do and you allow any limiting thoughts, beliefs, or behaviors to fall to the wayside and you really go after what you want. Respond, don't react. You're somebody who responds to situations. You don't react. You take your time to think about it. You take your time to allow yourself guilt-free time to think to really come to the conclusions and the way that you want to word what you have to say so that you aren't jumping all over everybody, but you are actually responding with intelligence and patience and understanding and compassion. Stand strong in your beliefs. You are somebody who stands very strong and firm in your beliefs. You would die for your beliefs. I think there are some beliefs that you would actually die for. You would take a bullet for. You're a healer, very playful fun, happy-go-lucky, somebody very optimistic, joyous, exuberant, somebody who brings a lot of fun, life, fearless, energetic energy to the people around you, and you really bring a lot of hope, optimism, love, and light as well. Somebody very hardworking, somebody very responsible, somebody who takes on a lot, and somebody who does it very efficiently and effectively. In most of the Ten of Wands cards, the guy is really struggling with his load. But this guy is bearing this burden no problem and he's walking to that castle way on top of that hill there and he's trudging along like it's no big deal because you are somebody who can handle the hardships that come your way. You are somebody who stands up and defends what's right no matter what it may cost you. Somebody who believes in what you believe in and you are not going to allow anyone to push you around. You're a superhero faster than a speeding bullet. <laughs> You're a superhero. That's how they see you. Somebody who really stands up and fights for what's right, no matter what is going to come of it. Somebody who's a spiritual leader, very fiery, passionate, inspirational, the cheerleader. Somebody who really cheers others on and inspires them. Somebody who leads others. Somebody who sees things from a very different perspective and takes action to stand in your power and express the things that you believe, regardless of what anyone else thinks. You're very confident, very motivated, very driven, very ambitious, and very fiery. And you may also help 
to lead others through their shadows towards light, back to the light. You may even stand up and fight for and defend people who may be going through a rough time and are unsure of what's going on around them because maybe they had a lapse in mental capacity for a minute. You may take on a lot of the burdens of others and you may really help guide them through their journey and out the other end. You may bring a lot of hope and positivity and joy to people in their darkest hour. And you may also have a lot of shadows that you have faced in your life and overcome because you've fought your way through every challenge that you have ever come against. And you really bring a lot of hope and joy to people when they are in the dark. So that's what I have for this pile. And I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear if this resonated with you or if this feels like you. And I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. I am sending you love and light on your journey, and I hope you have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are, when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile three. Pile 3, 2111. <laughs> so, you are somebody very aligned in and of yourself. And you are somebody who brings a lot of balance to the world around you because you are somebody who stands in your power and your strength. You are somebody who really has taken the time out to align yourself and find balance within. And find balance in your connections. Find balance in your life. We have the guard security lock here. So you may be somebody who's very guarded or very protected. Somebody who may at times seem a little pouty or moody or, ooh, my way, Frank Sinatra. You may be somebody who really enjoys having things your way and somebody who really doesn't care what anybody else has to say about that because in the end of the day, you did things your way and you made sure to protect yourself, your ideas, your inspirations, your passions, your goals, your desires. Even if other people didn't like it, even if other people might have been, you know, jealous or upset or pouty or, you know, there's two dragons here too, by the way. So you're very much in the spotlight. You're very much in charge, in a position of power, you may be somebody who is very shining or bright, a leader, somebody that really stands out and is meant to stand out, and somebody who is meant to do something great and amazing with your life. You may be somebody who is meant to leave a very strong legacy. So you may be very guarded over your heart because of that, because there's been a lot of people maybe who have even stepped on your toes or been jealous or envious and lashed out at you in ways. And maybe at times you may have even lashed out at your person because of the other people in your life as well. You're somebody very spiritual as well. And somebody who really has a lot of hidden depth of emotion that you may guard very deeply. And your person really does find it very cute about you that you are trying to appear so strong when you are very vulnerable and emotional and loving underneath this prickly exterior. <laughs> I can't love you fully. I don't love myself enough. No one knows I still think of you. So this person, you may not be together. This may be somebody who was very guarded and prickly against you, or you might have been either way. And the reason why was because not enough self-love. So you can't love another person fully unless you are loving yourself fully. Um, this person wants you to know that they still think of you, but nobody knows this because they keep it very guarded, very secretive, very deep inside of them. And that they can't really love you fully because they don't love themselves enough. So maybe they're working on self-love. Guard your heart, but not too much. So in guarding your heart, you are somebody who is able to guard it to that right level. You're able to guard it, but at the same time still remain open. And this other person may be somebody who's very, very guarded, 
and they block people out and they block out any love from anywhere around them they may even be very solitary because of this and they love that you are somebody who is able to allow people in slowly a little bit at a time so that you can build that trust and that foundation so that it doesn't fall apart and so that you're not worried anxious nervous things like that everything has purpose everything has a purpose so you're somebody who believes that everything has a purpose and this person really loves that about you they love that you believe in the signs and synchronicities that you're very spiritually aware and that you really believe that everything has a reason reason and a purpose and things really happen for a reason and a purpose and if you're drawn to pile one you may want to watch that because this card actually tried to pop out in pile one and i put it back because i was only wanting one card two cards popped out with this pile too and i decided to go ahead and keep the second card so you're somebody who is very cleansing somebody who really takes time to cleanse and clear your energy takes time for self-love self-care you may have taught this person a lot about loving themselves as well you are somebody who enjoys exploring all of the things that are out there and really expanding your mind asking yourself questions about what's real what isn't what you believe in what you don't and really exploring all these different things and changing your mind opening your perspective and getting in debates maybe even and you really believe in magic as well you believe in cleansing power you believe in the power to be able to heal past pain and to rise up again and you really believe in magic <laughs> Spontaneous, go with the flow, adaptable, flexible, zest for life, curiosity. You're very pure as well in a lot of ways. You're very, I don't want to say like innocent or naive, but somebody who is very, very pure of heart. Spontaneous, go with the flow, adaptable, flexible, zest for life, curiosity, sincerity, devotion, self-control, stability, patience. I love when it matches up like that because the unicorn card and this card is actually a very similar energy dreamy imaginative creative and romantic same with this one so you're somebody very who believes in your dreams who believes in your ability to manifest beautiful things into your world somebody who's very creative very romantic who may write who may draw somebody that may do who may write poetry stories um may tell really good stories may joke very well may come up with a lot of things that other people don't you're very you enjoy going with the flow and you can really adapt to any new situation that comes in and you are really able to adapt to the new energies that are around you because you take care of your own energy you really have a passion and a zest for life and you really are very curious about the world around you i am trying to trust my heart i find peace in your arms open your heart to love keep moving forward don't look back don't allow others to decide for you hold on this ride could get bumpy uncover the mystery look at things more closely treat yourself better so this person would really like you to treat yourself better they would like you to walk away from things that don't serve you they would like you to walk away from people that don't you serve you even if it's them they would like you to pull back your energy because they can't love you in the way that you deserve to be loved and that may just be right now it may be forever but the whole thing is is you deserve to be loved and they believe that you are somebody who does not allow others to decide for you you are somebody who makes your own decisions. You are somebody who is on board for a bumpy ride and you really are holding on for dear life, but it may be time to let go so that your person can go on a journey on their own and find their self-love. This person really finds a lot of peace in your heart arms and they are trying to trust their heart, but they really need to, you need to look at things more closely. It's time to uncover the mystery the mystery is that they are guarded and protecting themselves and they can't love you fully because they aren't feeling worthy and 
this person loves that they get to uncover a mystery with you every time they look at you and maybe they might even look at things a little more closely within themselves if you do walk away from them instead of constantly giving in to them and allowing them to treat you in a manner that is not okay it's time to keep moving forward and not look back but to also open your heart up to love and receiving that love whether it's from them or from someone else it's time to you know, you might have picked pile two, too. I just looked at the thing at 2944, and it was 944 when I started the last reading. So if you picked this pile, you may have actually picked all three. But you're somebody who really keeps moving forward, and you don't look back. But you're open and receptive to love coming in as well. And so maybe you already walked away from this person as well, and you're moving forward. You're not looking back, but you're open to love. You're open to uncovering the mysteries around you. You're open to trusting your heart. And you're not going to allow other people to decide for you if this person does find that self-love and come back to you to treat you better. Then you might actually allow them back in if you're feeling the love for them. Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords here. The Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. So, you're somebody who doesn't do things just to please others. You're somebody who works slowly, solidly, stably towards your goals. You are somebody who ends things that aren't good for you. You have been betrayed, hurt, stabbed in the back, just lied to, um, harsh, rough ending. This person may even be the person that you had this ending with. I think maybe you walked away from this person, though, to stand strong on your own because you knew that you had everything you needed within yourself and the universe would provide the rest. You have a lot of abundance and fertility around you and within you. You're very stable, strong, and confident in and of yourself. And, you know, this person may really try very hard to please others. And they may have done things to make others happy in their life. They may have really put you on the back burner to work towards things that weren't good for them as well. And they may have really lied and they might want to bring you a message of truth of some sort, but they're indecisive on this because they see that you are this strong person who doesn't need anyone, including them. And they really don't feel like they have enough to offer you. They really feel like they are still busy trying to please everyone else instead of working hard towards their own things and working hard towards being independent like you and stable and strong and able to stand in their own power. Instead, they are very indecisive, very back and forth and betraying people and hurting people all the time, not even really intending to, but because they're just following the crowd and following what everybody else wants for them instead of doing what they feel is best for them. So the best thing for you in this situation, in my opinion, would be to walk away from this person and let this situation go. If it's meant to be, it will be, and nothing can take what is meant for you. But what you need to do is work on your own goals and keep moving forward and not look back but to keep your eyes on your own page, and at the end of the test, you'll get to see how you did, you know, kind of thing, and just allow the universe to take things away that are meant to leave, allow it to close those doors, because new doors open. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I would love to hear what you had to say about this, or how you felt about this in the comments below.